this right here is so much better than this right here for your flower bowls like i had always heard that vaping was better than smoking but it took me a while to make it a reality because as many times as i tried out vaping i was just disappointed every time but after years and years of trying and finally finding the right one i'm here to say that vaping is actually better than smoking for a number of reasons now what really sucks is most of the flower vapes out there are trash there's so many bad ones out there that just they're they're not really worth it. They don't really do as good of a job as you need. They do it, right? They 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 vape the flower, they do it, but like it's so it's so so bad compared to like a quality vaporizer that you're like, what 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 is this, right? What you can use a rock as a hammer, but when you get a hammer, you're like Oh yeah, bro, this is a hammer. This is a hammer. And I was really smashing my bowls with rocks before, wondering why they weren't good. But vaping the flower really takes your experience to the next level. And I've smoked a million bowls. I've lit a million billion bowls on fire. And I kind of laugh to myself when I look over at my lighter, just chilling on my desk. I'm like, you really used to go out, buy nice, expensive weed, shred it up and then light it on fire, bro. Now I'm just like, oh gee, I really used to just light it on fire, bro. I would just light it on fire? Bro, vaping, it gives you so much more out of your flower. You get such a better hit. You, you get you get so much flavor and the pure cannabinoids in your hit. Like, it's so wild to me that when you light a bowl on fire, most of the smoke, most of what you're inhaling and exhaling is just nothing. It's just nothing. Like, your bowl wasn't 100% cannabinoids. It was maybe 30%. So 70% of that plant material in there, you're just lighting it on fire and you're just breathing in smoke. That to me is wild, right? It's so wild. When you use a flower vaporizer, you're just getting the good stuff. You're just getting the good stuff. If you're doing it right, you're inhaling just the good parts of the plant that get you high and leaving behind the bad stuff. There's all these people out there trying to clean up their smoke. Oh yeah, I use a little filter. I use a hemp. Just, just, if you want clean hits, vape it. Everything else is stupid. In comparison, it, it is stupid in comparison to how much cleaner the vapor hit is than trying to clean up with filters and hemp wicks and even like ash catchers and 10 percolators literally just vape the flower and it's a thousand times cleaner than you trying to clean up smoke it sounds it sounds wild right like but vaping the flower really does do a whole lot more than just smoking it right if you're big into edibles and you vape your flower you're basically decarbing your bud every time you take a big old hit out of it you got this nice brown AVB left over. You can use that to make edibles. You can't really do anything with your ash. And bro, let me tell you that ash is so nasty. I actually spilled my bong the other day. It, I, I can't think of the last time it happened, but I just knocked it over on my desk. I was using a smaller one, but I had been vaping out of it. So what did I dump out? Well, mostly clean water with little bits of flour in it. Cause on the glass screen bowl I use, sometimes I pull tiny little specks of flour through and there's little brown, little green bits of flour floating there, but no ash, no nasty black water. I spilled it all over my desk and somebody in the chat was like, you know, good thing that's not ash water. And I was really thinking about that. Like, yeah, bro, I'd be pissed if that water was full of ash, but it's not just about spilling it, right? I'm inhaling that. So looking at a nasty bong that's been smoked out of, like 10 hits out of a bong that you use a lighter with, it can look disgusting. You could do 100 hits out of a vape one. It's not really going to look that bad. So it's cleaner on your body. It's cleaner on your piece. And it makes the whole process of cleaning it easier. Like you're not really dealing with a lot of resin buildup like you are when you're cleaning a piece that you smoked out of. It's closer to like cleaning a piece that you've dabbed out of because vapor leaves like a reclaim behind. The vapor can re-solidify into a wax or a sticky material. But that's so much easier to clean than resin and ash. So it, it goes through your piece cleaner. It goes in your body cleaner. And then you have decarbed bud after that you could make edibles with. I don't really make anything with mine. I really just throw it away. But there's so many people out there that get a whole extra benefit out of their AVB. Now I've done it, I've done it a few times. I don't throw it all away. But like for me, I need a higher dose of edibles. So like if I already vaped out most of the cannabinoids, I just it's it's a lot of work to get like AVB edibles. But for some people, like those are the best things. Like they don't need a high dose. And if you have a ton of flour that you've been vaping through, you got a ton of decarbed bud ready, you can use it for stuff. Tinctures edibles topicals so with a flower vape you can just get a lot more out of your flower you're getting cleaner hits it's cleaner on your body it's it's easier on your throat it's easier to take the bigger hits i've heard so many people in my twitch chat say they've switched to vaping and they tried to smoke a bowl after weeks or months of vaping mostly and it's like awful every time i mean i did it on 520 i did the combustion stream it's awful like compared to what you've been doing every day if you've been vaping high quality flour and then you just go light it on fire one day you're like 
What am I doing, bro? <laughs> what is this? So if you want to learn more about the hammer that I use, tune into my Twitch stream. I go live at 9 p.m. Eastern for a sesh. I have some videos about it. But tonight on Twitch, I'm going to be looking at people's weed and dabs from around the world. So if you want to participate, post a picture of your weed or dabs in my Discord and add a location, state or country. That way we can look at weed from all around the world. See you on Twitch tonight. And if you haven't seen these dang old strawberry cough reviews, check it out because it's a hoot and a holler. Have a lit day, my dudes.